in a word, thank you for taking the time to do this. And you should be very, very proud. I was very, very much impressed with your work. Right, you. Coming right out of the gate, first course in the program, et cetera. Your, white, your writing was exceptional. Your organization was exceptional. But I know that doesn't come easy. It comes with some work. So would you do me a favor for the audience? Because this recording is going to go to all the instructors as well as be distributed through the social sciences department. So potentially thousands of students could hear you. And I think they should. Well, they think they should because, uh, you, you, like I said, you've done, you've done, your work is remarkable. So introduce yourself to the home audience. Yeah, um, I'm Shelby Gruber. I've been at um, SMHU since I think May of 2018. Um, I work as a full-time nanny, and so, and I also go to school and a wife and a dog mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very, very much for coming in tonight. And this won't take long. Um, it's really, we're just basically looking for those pearls of wisdom. You know, what kind of strategies do you apply each and every week, you know, as a busy person, you know, in order to take care of your classroom work, your business, and, and to be as successful as you are? So what do you do before the week opens up? What's your strategy? Um, well, it starts uh, before the term. So before a term starts, before that Monday when I log on, I uh, – get into each class and I read the syllabus and the rubrics and I buy the textbook or whatever's needed for the course and then make sure I can access it um, if it's online. I then set up a folder in my computer um, for each class and then um, throughout the course that's where I'll save everything. Um, but each part of that also involves writing down major assignments. And so on my monthly calendar, I list out um, milestone due dates and final projects. And then each week, I have a weekly calendar um, where I write down the assignments and the reading and then what I'm gonna do each day. And so I spread it out over the course of the week and then you know, on Monday, I may do the reading and then Tuesday work on the assignment and make sure everything's turned in. Well, I'm going to file that under extremely well organized, but it, you know, but it's funny because, and I say, I say that because, well, other students that I've interviewed who are successful like yourself, you know, thematically they say pretty much the same thing that in order to be able to break everything down because it can seem overwhelming. It sounds like what you do, reduces your stress. Am I right? Yeah, writing everything down helps me keep track of everything. And then I also check it off, which uh, makes me feel like I've really accomplished something. Yes. Yes. A feeling of accomplishment. You did it. So I know because it can be kind of scary. You've got all these things on your plate. You have all these demands in your personal life and you still want to succeed in the classroom. So checking those things off can be kind of a nice reward. So that's a great way of reducing your stress. Do you have any, say, if you have a lot of reading, what are your reading strategies? How do you approach, you know, when you have a lot of reading to do? Um, I look at the entire week of work. And for me, what works for my schedule is I do school Monday through Friday. Yes. And so, you know, I will, my schedule looks a little different now, but I'll try and do all the reading on like Monday, maybe Tuesday, and then work right. on assignments Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday work on discussion board. Wow. So you've got to pretty much lay it out each and every time. So let me ask you this. Um, your, your approach to writing is very, very good. You're very well organized. Your, your grammar is exceptional. And that it's easier said than done. What, what did you do to get to the point where you are? You've become a, you're a very, very good writer. How do you, how'd you get there? I have always just um, kind of written things down. I journaled uh, throughout the course of my life. And, when it comes to academic writing, you know, there was a gap for me between high school and, and college, like a lot of us. And yes. 
Um, and what I was taught in high school was MLA format. And then I got to uh, here and I needed to use APA. And right. uh, it was really confusing. And I kept looking up all of the, just looking on Purdue, OWL, and here at SMHU, and it just wasn't making sense. And so really early on, I sat down um, with someone in the writing center. Yes. Just over the computer visit like this and we um, went over APA and she just explained it and so I took notes and um, have referenced that throughout. Well I commend you for reaching out to go to the writing center because they are very good at what they do and the fact that you weren't shy you didn't shy away from it you weren't afraid of it you actually tackled it and you got the help you needed and a lot of students unfortunately they don't they just well i don't think i can do this but you were brave enough to tackle apa so thank you for that and thank you for going to the writing center i know they really work very hard for the students let me ask you something for on the instructor side of the house what is it that instructors do that you find to really help support your success week to week? What, what are the things you look for when you've had those instructors you really enjoyed, whatever? What did they do to help you? Um, I really appreciate the announcements, um, particularly at the beginning of the week. Um, and some instructors have done like in the middle or at the end of the week. Um, and, uh, I just appreciate, I think what I find helpful is the extra detail that goes into some announcements. Yes that isn't always on a rubric or um, within the module. So I right. find the announcements really helpful. Okay, so they'll break it down and help you plan. Um, in the course, you know, you have discussion boards, you might have quizzes and essays. What do you, what do you find to be, for you, um, the most useful? Do you say, I mean, do you enjoy the discussion boards? Do you, do you find them to be helpful? Um, I. Yes, I enjoy the discussion boards for the most part. Um, I like the ability to reference the text or just other kind of work through some of the other things that we've read. During right. The, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's just part of the package. I was curious to see. It, it's, a, it's an instructor question, you know, because we're always looking at, well, what's the best way to put the right content together, you know, so we can help people move through a course without driving them crazy, you know, or boring them or putting something that not, may not just be helping them. So we're always looking at that. So your feedback is excellent in that area. So if you right now had the position of chief counselor for all students at Southern New Hampshire University, what would be your words of wisdom for them to help them succeed? Just to be intentional and, and schedule time. We live such busy lives as adult learners and mm -hmm. juggling a lot of different roles. And so it's really important to schedule that time. And it seems really simple, um, but even if you, you know, you're scheduling it in the morning or at night or on a lunch break, just blocking off that time for specific schoolwork, um, I think will help to make sure you're getting everything done and taking in the material. Mm -hmm. Well, that is excellent. That's great counsel and advice. And I want to thank you for helping us push that forward. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, because we really want everyone to succeed. And more often than not, it's best to hear from the successful people like you. And I mean that. And for anyone who doesn't know, yes, our guest tonight was in my class. And I always look forward to reading your work uh, because it shows for me, it uh, fuels, my, fuels an instructor's fire to see someone working so hard and so diligent, diligent rather, and, and you know, with, with passion and like you said, with intent and focus and that really does uh, keep us going too as well so thank you for that and thank you for taking some time out of your busy evening to offer these words of wisdom and strategies and plans and how you succeed and i know that you're going to continue to be successful and as you know uh, we i advising we're all here to help support you so please keep in touch shelby and thank you again for taking the time to to do this thank you and have a great night thank you mm -hmm.